Welcome back to Razmafsar TV. Today, I'm going to show you a helmet, a light helmet made by Sergei Gobatko, Razmafsar team, Ukraine. So the helmet, as you can see it here, is a light helmet and um, the in Russian in the Russian speaking world is uh, our Russian colleagues normally call this the Mizurka or also the Eastern Europe and this is a helmet which was you can find it examples of that among Circassians also you can find I mean in the whole region also you can find Persian examples of this and Sergei was very kind to send this as a present to me so i really really appreciate that and um, you can see how much work he has put into that you see that the the upper part of it has a ball and as you will see the, later this ball which protects the top of the hat is fluted then around the hat it is protected by Zhou shan style um, plates steel plates which are connected to each other via riveted mail rings and the mail as you can see it here they're all riveted and hardened a combination of steel ones and copper alloy ones which makes it a very very beautiful combination if i move on to show you more you look at the top uh, of, uh, of it the bowl the roundish ball as you can see it's fluted it is forged into shape and by hand by Sergei you can see how much uh, time and effort he has put into that and the top of it there is an Isaac as we say there is a spike on top of the helmet very small one and a ring is attached to it so you can just put a piece of cloth as identification or feather or whatever you wish so you can see that here and I show uh, this helmet from different sides so you can take a look at that and here um, we will move on to see the way it looks like now the helmet is lying on the ground you see that there it has an integrated gambeson for uh, protecting the neck and also the top of the head as we call it arachin so by sweat collector as we call it in Persian but it's combined also with gariban which uh, protects uh, around your neck so it's integrated it's a thick one made of different layers of cotton and linen which is inside and you look at the plates I really love the way the plates are con uh, connected to each other I really love Joshan armor and look at how much effort how much time Sergei has put into making this helmet this piece of armor hat protection helmet to me look at this i really love you know especially where you move them and the one plate over the other it is a magnificent way of making a helmet the helmet is very very light very nice it is excellent for archery practices and also for doing combinations and i believe if today you ask me, back then, if you wanted to have a light armor or heavy armor, I would have chosen a light armor. A heavy armor, which I have as well, is for shock troops, with lance troops, for breaking uh, the lines of, of opponents. You need that. But I believe much of the armored combat or all armored combat we do is a simulation because we do not use sharp weapons anymore and we tend to end up bashing each other. And for that we need a very very uh, heavy armor and protection but i believe back then if you want to, to last longer on the battlefield you needed a lighter armor a lighter helmet that's what i say i really love my this helmet and i can do many things with it and you hardly feel it when you wear it and that's extremely important for a good helmet you see that's the top ball of it I really love the way it is fluted this shows the mastery and here you can see it I'm wearing it so you can see 
I'm just uh, moving my hand so you can take a look at that and see that how flexible I am I am I will be doing combinations and train with it you see that how my neck and vital areas are protected below that there is a gambeson and also another gambeson when you wear it is really really well I can even put my hoodie hood on the top of um, on my hat so just uh, um, cover and uh, hide my helmet that's good it is and it's a really well made one and um, as I said light it does not restrict your head movements you don't get tired that's also essential for a good helmet or for any good piece of armor so i'm going to show you the same line the way again i move it i move my hand you see that head movements neck movements are not restricted at all and this is something very good and very very valuable actually it is invaluable to have it in any piece of armor what is the what is the point of an armor which restricts you say it because of weight or because of any um, uh, say rigidity which prohibits your lack of movement or hinders your lack of movement so it's a very very well made one Now we move on, you see that I mentioned it to you, two different types of steel rings and copper alloy rings. All of them, no matter if they are hardened steel rings or copper alloy rings, they are uh, riveted and the copper alloy rings, you see that how well made they are. And then this combination, as you can see it here, really impressive the way he riveted them one by one. And these are the Joe Shan plates on top of the, the helmet, as I mentioned it before to you, which makes it a very, very nice way. I mean, the way they just go over each other and provide flexibility. This is unbelievable. The male armor as well, as you see it here. see here again rings and now I'm going to show you inside the helmet so I mean the Anak Chin sweat collector as we call it combined with Gariban neck protector and this is the way you see they're multi-layered linen and cotton so they really protect your head top of your head and also your neck very well this is again as I mentioned to, to you before something very very valuable as you can see it here. And uh, these are the plates again, Joshan plates. And I'm going to show them again because I'm a big fan of these plates. If you uh, need more information on Persian helmets and armor, please see my uh, book, Arms and Armor from Iran, which won the, uh, international, the International Book Prize of Iran. And you can buy it from my web shop. You see the arms armor from Iran, you can find lots of information in it. And from time to time, we also offer discounts on my web shop. So you can buy it be, uh, there, or also Lexigno of Arms and Armor from Iran. This book also won the International Book Prize of Iran. Please subscribe to my channel and ask any questions you have. And uh, I put the link to my web shop, my bookshop here. 
and again i would like to thank um sergey gorbatsko for this wonderful helmet for making this wonderful helmet if you want to uh, contact sergey just uh, contact me here and i will provide you with an email thank you very much and have a nice day